right. I, I saw you guys. I, I, no, no, I'm no, not this is like perfect. This is perfect. Yeah. And it's Chris. Hey, you I, 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 it, no, we she want... Called, she called I, me John earlier. Lisa, I... Oh, uh, he's not going to let me live it down. Yeah. Hi, Lisa Gravel for A Better Manchester. Pack, and I am here at the Drug Take Back on Valley Street at the police station with... Governor Chris Sununu, who's here supporting this idea, and John Delano with DEA. Awesome, very good. So, talk a little bit about this. Well, first of all, I'm happy that the governor's here, right? Yes, because anytime we all are, the governor yes. comes, you see the turnout that we get. But yep. this is a huge event. It's it's really the one thing people ask with this opioid crisis is, what can I do if I'm not directly impacted by it? This is something that everybody can do. Everybody can take an honest look inside their medicine cabinet and come and dispose of this stuff. And it's important for two reasons. Number one is it's safe for the environment. We live in the most beautiful state in the country, so we want to keep our waters pristine and keep it safe and, and you know for everybody pollution free. But more importantly, we know that this stuff is ending up in the wrong hands and we don't want that to happen so let's get it let's get it safely disposed of it's the right thing to do in April at this event we took in 15,000 pounds of unwanted wow. unused prescriptions in New Hampshire alone today we have over 105 participating locations and having the governor here is really the most important that is great do you like to talk about well, that look it's, it's just a great frankly it's not just a PR campaign but when you look at the results 15,000 pounds in one that's day last year I think 20 tons over the course of the entire year and that's still just a fraction of what's out there right so we got to keep staying on the forefront keep reminding folks that this is in the medicine cabinet not a place to be it's not a place to be put next to the vitamins so to say and the more people that kind of get a, are aware of it the more people that understand how they can be kind of a positive contribution to making sure this gets out of our society as a whole um, it's just a great day and to see everybody come out and on a beautiful day like this uh, it's a great great opportunity. And people have to remember, it's not just a couple days a year, right? right? On any single day, you can walk into the police station, you can walk into Catholic Medical or some of the hospitals that are out there that have 24-7 take-back boxes. There's always an opportunity to get this stuff out of your homes. Yeah, that sounds fantastic. All right, very good. Well, Lisa thank Gravel you. for a Better Manchester Pack. I want to thank these guys. And yeah, come bring back your drugs. All right. Thank you guys. <laughs>